Hey everyone, so I'm going to give you a quick run through on a few coins that I see um, potential with and what's actually happening and I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and what's actually just about to happen. So if we look at the Bitcoin 15 minute chart, obviously a few days ago we had massive volatility. Um, I've talked about in previous videos that we obviously had this drop out of, um, out of a, a 20 day pennant um, that failed, which was obvious because um, there was quite a bit of resistance happening. Now, I'm going to zoom out to bigger time frames, but first, if we look at the lower time frames, um, more specifically, I'll, I'll go down to the five minute time frame. We can actually see that we're forming what looks to me like a bearish pennant. Now, it's not looking good. Um, you, if you wanted to chart it up a different way, you could probably look at it like this and potentially call this an ascending wedge, uh, an ascending triangle, sorry. Um, but either way, I just don't think it looks good. Um, and, you know, at like a one-to-one a -one extension. Um, yeah, let me look at a one-to-one -one extension. So if, we, if this was to break down, I mean, we could be looking at like at least the 3,300 levels. Um, I would probably be targeting... Um, around around this region if I was to enter a short position so yeah I mean the, the MACDs are sort of um, if I zoom out to bigger time frames telling us a different story um, we can see the crossovers here we're making higher highs and higher lows um, and then even bigger time frames um, are starting to look but we're getting a bit of curvature on the uh, on the histogram here um, but I still want to see a crossover here um, and then go on to create a new high on the MACD there. Again, we can still see that we're um, creating new lows, new highs, but at the moment I would honestly just wait until we create um, a new a new structure as in like a new high um, before I enter. Now, if we zoom out to a bigger time frame like the 4 l we can actually see that this um, inverse head and shoulders pattern is still valid. Um, now, uh, actually, sorry, if I go into, I'll go into um, Bitfinex. So, it's still slightly valid. <clears throat> um, not something that interests me a lot now. Um, but you can still see that um, we need another breakup. In fact, if we do not break up to to these levels around the 3600 level, then this inverse head and shoulders is probably becoming a lot more invalid. Um, in terms of other coins that I'm looking at, so for now I'm just waiting for a breakup or down on Bitcoin before I make an entry. So um, oftentimes the best decision you can make is just not making trade at all. So if I look over to Tron, um, I did talk about this coin yesterday and I said that I wouldn't be making an entry. I, I did see an inverse head and shoulders here with the left shoulder here coming up to the neckline, the head, and then another left shoulder here. And if we didn't break above this resistance from previous um, points on the chart, then um, this pattern would be invalid. And obviously we broke down and got rejected and further broke down. Now, something that I currently see now happening, um, which I only just looked at before when I did my morning scan, is that um, I potentially see a falling wedge pattern here. Now, there was already one here. Um, and, and that did not work out, but if I can draw this here, um, and then I draw another point here, we can see that we are forming that falling wedge pattern now. Um, we have a few confluence zones, um, you know, around this region. So if I get out my rectangle tool, we can see that around this region here um, is where we would see that support and obviously that's where the apex of the pendant is. Now, um, even further out, if I did a fib retracement um, from this point here, let's see where we actually are landing. So, I might take that from there. So, awesome. So, um, there's quite a few confluence zones actually because we can see that we keep falling down to this support zone here. Um, that's also the 786 region. Um, you could in fact, then if that was to break out, now a trick that I, I use that um, not many people actually talk about is if you dupl duplicate the support line here, or you clone it on TradingView, 
and then you bring it up to the resistance top here, that's actually generally your target um, if a falling wedge pattern actually breaks out with enough volume. So you're potentially looking at a 10% profit there. Now you could weigh out your risk and say, okay, if Bitcoin drops by 2 to 3%, and then I get in this trade for a 10% profit, um, that is a very high risk move, something that I wouldn't be suggesting. And obviously I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't give you that advice, but definitely something worth looking at, even just for a paper trade. Um, and again, Verge paired to Bitcoin is sort of starting to do this a similar thing now. So we can see if I go down to a smaller time frame like the 15 minute chart, um, we have had that breakout. Um, and obviously now we're retesting. Um, we're retesting here, unless we just broke the back below. But something that I like with this, and um, obviously we have that pattern there, but something that I like is that we're falling back down now to. Um, this region here, which from previous points in the chart, we can see that this whole zone in here um, is actually a really nice support zone. Now, if I pull out my food retracement tool, where would we land? So, I'm assuming 786 around that region. So, we're currently just sitting above the 786 food retracement point. So, um, these are two trades, Tron and Bitcoin, that I would be careful. Uh, like that I would look at entering um, and another one that I've been have my eyes on for a few days is BNB now I did mention this in another video um, and I did say that I wouldn't only be entering if um, I, I did say that I wanted to push up here to test this resistance and then obviously get rejected um, and then make a move upwards um, back from here but as you can see, I said I would not be making and I would not suggest an entry until we could actually test this resistance zone here that's been building up for quite a while. And as you can see, we, we hit it, we broke down, um, and then we broke this support, had another retest of it, um, but honestly just couldn't break back up. So we broke back down here. Now something that I can slightly see there is an ascending wedge pattern. Um, so potentially... Um, this is something worth looking at. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too good from here. So, um, if we bring that down to here, then you're probably looking within the next half an hour of a 1% drop on BNB. So, um, that's just a daily update, and I'll keep giving you guys daily updates. But um, for now, just be careful with Bitcoin. Um, like I said, that pennant, if we drop, um, then it doesn't look too good. Um, but yeah, appreciate for watching and I'll bring out another video tomorrow.